So guys, I started off my video showing you a scar. And the reason why I'm doing that is because we are discovering, uncovering, um, breaking through ways to really love ourselves and embrace ourselves, flaws and all. It's about loving you. That's what our challenge is about this month. And so for today, the task at hand was to identify, sorry, let me get all my items together, was to identify a scar that you have. And the scar that I showed you, I actually got when I was in high school. I was in the marching band on the color guard team. And at the time that I got this scar, I was actually still doing the marching band piece. And I was playing my flute and we were at band camp one summer and I literally rolled down the hill, like deathly. And I was terrified. I remember it still to this day of how hard my fall was and how I scraped my knee really, really bad. And it was a couple of things that ran through my mind. It was one, embarrassment. It was two, why didn't I hurt more than just a scrape on my foot? And I was just, I was just devastated. You know, when you're young and you do embarrassing things, sometimes it just sticks with you. So I take away from that still to this day because the scar, it affects me even to this day. Sometimes when I'm doing exercises or, um, my ankle rolls or something such as that, I can still feel that pain. And it takes me back to that moment and that feeling. So I, I like the fact that they gave me this task because it gives me the opportunity to release that pain, to release those feelings associated with embarrassment when you trip and you fall, because we all slip, we all fall, but it's not about the trips and the falls and the slips and the bangs and the whatever you get from that, but it's how you recover. And so I don't let those pain points that come up get me down, but I will say I feel it. So a scar is meant to be felt, but not to, to hold you back. It can remind you of things, but if it's holding you back and it's preventing you from really being able to grow and do certain things because you are thinking, oh, it's gonna happen again, that's another thing to let go. So that's my scar that I'm sharing with you guys, uh, my embarrassing moment. Um, and it takes me all the way back 20 some years, 20 plus years. I know I'm dating myself, but what scars do you have that still maybe show up today that affects you maybe physically, um, affects you mentally to the point of where you don't wanna try it because it may trigger an emotion? I, I don't really know, but identify what it is, love yourself through it and let it go. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and we will share some more. Bye.